Hi, and welcome to the Basic Video Maker Vlog. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put a background color behind text and to use that background color to tint an image. Now in today's video, you're going to hear my friend Greg in the background because I was over at Greg's house while we were recording this and we were putting a background solid color behind some kinetic text that he was putting in another video. I'll be happy to show you creating kinetic text in future videos, but this one is just about the background color. I was over at Greg's house while we were recording this and we were recording it on his Mac and I'm a PC person but it always does somebody good to learn both the PC side and the Mac side so that if somebody asks you a question about what you're not familiar with, at least you'll have a little bit more expertise in that area. Let's get started. What we have here is a kinetic text demo and we want to give it a background color on the slide. Let us go ahead and go in for annotations. We're going to come up here to the solids, which is right here. And I'm going to add a solid. I don't want an outline solid. I just want that. Let's go ahead and add to timeline at playhead. And we don't want that there. I'm going to drag it all the way over to the left and put it. Here we go. Now, right click on this and you can arrange scale, scale to fit. And that doesn't usually fill it up. You usually have to drag it for some crazy reason. It doesn't give you the. The whole thing. Tell you what, I'm going to drag it just a little. See, we got the curve corner. It doesn't matter. Let's leave those curve corners. I like those. Now, right click, move track, bottom. Notice what we've done now. We now have this track underlaying everything else. We have the kinetic text on top of it, but you cannot see it right now because it's white on white. So what I'm going to do now, I have this box selected, this track, the shape selected. I'm coming over here to the properties. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the shape itself, not on the visual properties. I want the annotation properties, the fill solid. Let's change the color on that one right now. Let's put it over here in the full saturation area. Now we can see the kinetic text and we can change the color by dragging up on this like that. Now let's just make it that, that nice solid blue. OK, and if we want it less intense, we can drag that. We want it darker. We can drag it that way. And you just click back on that solid there and it goes away and you now have a background text to your slide. If you want this slide to be a tinting for a photograph, I'm going to hit B to open up the bin and there's title slide.png and that's exactly what we want to use. Let's drag that to the media bin. Now, Something that's in the media bin, you can double click on it. It opens up in a viewer. See, that's in the viewer. Now I'm going to right click on this, add the timeline at playhead. It adds it way up at the top. I'm going to drag it all the way over to the left. Let's go ahead and since it's an image, you can make it as long as you want it to be. And let's go ahead and right click here, move track to the bottom. And when we don't really want it on the bottom, we want it one more up from that. Take this slide and make it the same length. I'm going to take this and we're going to move track up one. Boom. So now we have this on top. The thing we need to do at this point is just take this and change the opacity of that picture. See, we have it selected. So we now have the blue showing through. We could also do it with a blue on top and change the opacity of the blue. But now you have a tinted slide. Now let's tell you what let's do. Let's go back to this slide. Let's go back to the color of the slide and let's drag up and down on the color selector. Now look what happens to the tint showing through the slide. Yeah, so that's what you can do if you want a background slide. Well, that should give you a pretty good idea of how to add a 
background solid beneath some text or even beneath a slide and make the slide transparent so you can tint the slide. If you like this one, thought it was valuable, give us a thumbs up, share it with people who you know who are video editors, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.